Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you? Uh, what are their intentions towards you? What do you need to know about how they view you or this connection? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're gonna look at all of that today. All right, so let's jump in for Sagittarius, for Sagittarius. Regarding love, what does Sagittarius need to know regarding love? What does Sagittarius need to know regarding love? Well, this one came out right away. We have victory, indecision, and man holding a coin. Okay, what else? What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? What else do we need to know, Spirit? What's coming their way in love for Sagittarius? What's coming their way in love? Do we have parting ways? Mirrored souls. Separation, divide, heartbreak. There's a disconnect between you. Definitely in a partnership here. Love letter and standing firm. Okay, so I kind of get... Some of you, this could be a situation where there has already been a separation and someone is trying to still kind of work on it or deal with it. We'll see when we look at the tarot. I feel like, you know, just off of like what I see so far without putting down the tarot. I think that this is a situation where there was already an, a separation in the recent past. Someone could be coming forward regarding that situation, but I feel like you might be standing firm, undecided. Spirit, what is coming their way in love? What is coming their way in love? Okay, there's the Phoenix, which is the judgment card. So I definitely feel like some of you, there could be someone that could be wanting to revive this. This could also be you. What does Sagittarius need to know about what's coming their way in love? I'm gonna do a little bit different for you guys. I'm only gonna pick four cards and just lay them down. Ace of Wands, Reverse, The Magician, Four of Cups, Reverse. Interesting. And the Queen of Swords. Well, either you're trying to make something happen or someone's trying to make something happen with the Magician. And I feel it's because something hasn't started. What's at the bottom of the deck? Ten of Cups, Reverse. Hmm. This Queen of Swords is figuring it out though. Either they're going to be, I feel like this Queen of Swords is a standing firm card. They already have the information or they're getting the information. They're hard to approach, hard to BS this Queen of Swords. So I feel, I don't know, I feel like a push and pull so far. The Four of Cups reverse is typically a card about someone changing their mind. Um, whatever they were not interested in before, whatever they were closed to before, um, that's changed now. So we'll have to see what all of this is about. Now, love letter is here. So you could be getting some sort of message from someone and that maybe they're trying to change your mind or maybe you're more open to this. We'll see. Let's start with this Ace of Wands reverse. Why is the Ace of Wands reverse? Why is the Ace of Wands reverse? Sometimes this card can mean just that a new beginning is delayed. Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Wands reverse? Why is the Ace of Wands reverse? Quick, okay, King of Swords. I feel like someone wants to talk 
King of Swords, Queen of Swords, openly, honestly. Because something is not happening with Ace of Wands reverse. A new beginning is not taking place. Something is not being created. Something is not being... There's no new adventure or endeavor, you know, there's some, something that is standstill or is delayed from happening. And I think it's because someone hasn't been able to talk or is hoping that if they talk this out, maybe they'll get what they want, which is this Ace of Wands. Can I get one more for this Ace of Wands? Can we be dealing with an air sign, an earth sign? Why is the Ace of Wands reverse? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like someone wants to work on things, work things out, work together, collaborate. The Ten of Wands is here, though, and Strength. Hmm. I don't know. I, I Sagittarius, I feel like some of you are not interested in working things out. Maybe you're overwhelmed or over this. Maybe this has just been... A situation that you've carried with you and it's just become harder and harder the longer you're in this situation or something some I feel like someone feels like they're weighed down by what's happening tell me about this king of swords why is the king of swords here what what can you tell me about this king of swords yeah, I feel like this is somebody that wants to apologize, work on things, Page of Cups, let's fix things, um, Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I'm, I'm lost without you. I miss you. I'm not doing well without you, Five of Pentacles. Um, you are what's missing in my life. I really hope that this was, you know, is somebody new, but I just don't get that because Parting Ways is here and Ace of Wands Reverse is here. Um, this is that man holding a coin. I feel like someone's going to approach you to try to mend things, work on things, make things better. Why is the magician here? <laughs> oh my gosh, these messages I get sometimes. It's just so funny. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Can I get one more for the magician? I literally heard someone say... What more do you want? <laughs> um, I, I guess they, they just want me to end the reading, I guess. What, what more do you need to know? That, that kind of energy. Tell me about the magician. Tell me about the magician. And that kind of tells me too. I feel like this is in a situation where at least one of you, you know the truth or you know the reality of the situation. And it's like maybe you're waiting for something that changes that perspective or makes you like turns things around. But it's almost like spirit is saying it is what it is. Um, what more proof do you need or what more evidence do you need that it is what it is? That's kind of what I'm getting here. The lovers and the ten of pentacles. Beautiful. A Gemini energy, ten of pentacles. This is what someone wants, the magician. This could be what someone's manifesting. This could be what someone is hoping for. Can I get one more for the magician? There could definitely be a soulmate uh, connection here. Let me put those back. Uh, with the lovers and mirror souls. What else do we need to know about the magician? Again, ten of wands. Yeah. I don't feel like you're on the same page with this person. It's it's more of a pro. It's it's like someone is trying to manifest despite the burden, right? Or someone's trying to manifest and the other person is not interested. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. So uh, that's kind of I keep feeling the push and pull. I don't feel. I mean, it could be that some of you want to fix things, right? And let me know in the comments if you would be interested in fixing things with someone you feel is a soulmate after some sort of uh, disconnect. But I think a lot of you are trying to be standing firm. You're trying to be strong. You're trying to resist. You're trying to be brave and almost like you're wearing armor, protecting yourself. That's that Queen of Swords. Tell me about this Four of Cups reverse. 
I just saw the Knight of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups reverse? Why is the Four of Cups reverse? Five of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Cups reverse? Five of Swords. Yikes. I feel like maybe you would have been interested in fixing things before, but maybe you are not now. Can I get one more for the Four of Cups? Reverse. Why is the Four of Cups reverse? The world. Yeah. I don't know. I feel, okay, there's that um, Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. What's behind that? Two of Wands um, and the Knight of Swords. That's this indecision. I feel like uh, someone has changed their mind, but not in the way that the other person hopes, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like the situation, what happened between you, changed your the way you feel. And I feel like a lot of you are wondering if you should just head somewhere new, have a new beginning. Um, but I also feel like at the same time, you're waiting for a message or you're waiting to hear something with the Knight of Swords. And there's a Three of Swords. I feel like this would still be disappointing. I th it's almost like you are, um, some of you, I feel like I'm reading for like two or three different Sagittarius, but I feel like the situation is still the same. It's just how you react to it. So I think some of you are hoping kind of deep down that you will talk things out and after you talk things out, things will change. But I think deep down, you also know that it's not so simple and that maybe this person has proven to you over and over again that they can't change or that they won't change. I think others of you are only here, uh, still kind of stringing this along because you're afraid of being alone or you're afraid of what the future holds when it comes to love. At least in this current scenario, you are comfortable or you know what you're getting. Um, but I feel like that's just going to end in disappointment anyway, because I think you know that you deserve more than that. So I feel like a lot of you, if you are in that situation where it's just easier to stay or easier to deal with what you have, I think spirit is going to push you anyway. You might go kicking and screaming, but you're going. But I think most of you are this Queen of Swords. This standing firm. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Nine of Swords. Maybe this is a facade. <laughs> Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Maybe you're, you're you know, faking it till you make it here. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. I think this could also be your person just worried. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. I think this is you figuring figuring out what you're going to do. Maybe you're worried about the future. Maybe this wasn't what you were thinking. Yeah, your intuition. You need to listen to your intu intuition, your inner voice. And it's going to lead you somewhere new. Page of Wands. And then there's the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're worried here. I don't know. I feel like this is you. Let's say this is you, Sagittarius, um, and you're just worried because you don't really know where you're going. There, It's not really clear. The High Priestess. The Hermit is here because someone is uh, retreating to really think things through to get the answers that they seek. That's why the Hermit is here. Um, so I feel like if you are this Hermit, it's because you need to listen to your intuition, your inner voice, what your heart is telling you about where you want to go or where you're headed. I also am picking up that some of you, this is the person that you're dealing with. They're really worried because they know deep down, I feel like there's a lot of deep down knowings happening here, um, but they know that uh, there's been a change in you. They know you've changed or they know the circumstances are, have changed. They know that they need to come in strong. You know, they need to come in with honesty and emotions, you know. Um, but I feel like what happened between you, there's no undoing it, right? What's what's done cannot be undone here. But I feel like you're headed somewhere. Yeah, wow. Seven of Swords. 
Six of Swords, Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you are going to have what you desire or headed somewhere more emotionally fulfilling. And it's going to be by leaving this behind. Six of Swords, Seven of Swords. Using your intuition, listening to your intuition, being um, in tune with your emotions, Queen of Cups. I think this person really cares about you. Let's see. Let's see what else we need to know about this person you're dealing with. What else do we need to know about this person that Sagittarius is, has, or will be dealing with? What else do we need to know about their energies? What else do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about them? This person could be sending you a text. Seven of Swords. <laughs> No, Seven of Cups. Sorry, this is a new deck for me. When I see the mirrors, I thought of swords, but these are cups. Seven of Cups. Okay. What else? Seven of Mirrors, Seven of Cups. What else do we need to know about this person? So they're trying to figure out their options as well. Nine of Pentacles Reverse. Five of Swords, Reverse. I think they want to overcome this, the difficulty, the conflict. They don't want to be free of you, this person. And I feel like they're thinking what they're going to do. Six of Wands. Yeah, how do I be, how can I be successful? How can I have victory with Sagittarius? Um, I don't, I want to still be, I don't, I don't want Sagittarius to be free. I don't want them to be independent of me or free of me. I want to overcome the difficulties between us, the problems between us. I want to resolve the conflict, right? But it takes two to tango. You know, you both have to be on the same page about that. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? Spirit, guided and protected. What else do we need to know about this person? romantic interesting <laughs> masculine at the bottom of the deck divine masculine so i feel like this is a situation where <laughs> this person i see them literally praying asking god to help them yeah i think this is someone also that's trying to play chess not checkers so this romantic energy, charming and passionate, I, I see it almost as, you know, it's strategic. I don't know if this person is normally romantic, but I feel like they're pulling all the stops here. Some of you are being protected from this person. I do have to say that. But I don't think it's because this person is evil. It's probably because there's something else for you. What do we need to know about this person? But I do, I am picturing someone like on their knees, asking, um, praying and asking for this. What else do we need to know about this person? Main male, this is definitely masculine energy. Main female at the bottom of the deck. This person has very strong masculine energy, does not have to be a male. We all carry feminine and masculine energies between us. But I feel like this this person, um, their masculine energy is almost like a go-getter. Uh, a need to conquer, a need to get what they desire. Despair. Yeah, this person's literally, they're, they're hoping for a miracle. That's just what I am seeing here. Um, they're hoping for a miracle, but you have to also be willing. And that's going to be the make or break of this. Some of you, Sagittarius, I feel like you are just there because there's nowhere else that you can picture yourself, but not because you truly want to be there. Let me know in the comments if that's true. Is it more comfortable for you? Is it more financially stable for you? Is it more um, less risky for you to be there where you know what to expect? But others of you, I feel like you are only here because of maybe the history you have with this person or because you doubt 
you know, is this really what I want? You know, it's like you're going back and forth about what you truly want to do, but deep down your inner voice has already told you what you need to do.